The Cultured Constable by C. J. Dennis Read for LibriVox.org by Son of the Exiles The Cultured Constable Five nights agone I lay at rest on my suburban couch, My trousers on the bedpost hung, red gold within their pouch. The twin gods' law and order seemed to me all-powerful as I dreamed. My life was stayed, my rates were paid, and peace was in my mind, nor recked I of unruly men to evil deeds inclined, strange primal atavistic men who shock the peaceful citizen. But all the same by stealth he came, a man of vile intent. What cared he that my life was pure, or that I paid my rent? He willed to violate my shrine, for household treasures that were mine. With purpose vile and with a file my window he attacked, a stealthy scratch upon the catch awoke me to the fact. Softly with sudden fear amazed, a corner of the blind I raised. I saw his face, oh that a man his manhood should degrade, and seek to rob, I checked a sob, except in honest trade. A predatory face I saw, that showed no reverence for law. With whirring head I slid from bed, crept from my peaceful couch, forsook my trousers hanging there, red gold within their pouch. Out through my chamber door I fled, and up the hallway softly sped. Into the murky night I stole to seek a certain cop, whose forthright feet patrolled the beat, a stone's throw from my shop. In my pyjama suit went I, across the moon dark clouds swept by. I saw him draped upon a post, like someone in a swoon. His buttons gleamed what time the clouds released the troubled moon. He gazed upon the changing sky, a strange light in his dreamy eye. Now haste thee, cop, I called aloud, and seized him by the arm. There is a wretch without my house, who bodes my treasure harm. Toward the sky he waved a hand, and answered, Ain't that background grand? Nay, gentle John, said I, attend, a thief my goods and gold, seeks to purloin, go seize the man, before the trial is cold. Those spies against the sky, said he, surcharged with beauty, are to me. I give the man in charge, I cried, he is on evil bent, he seeks all of its treasured art to strip my tenement. He answered, as one in a dream, Ain't that a bonza colour scheme? Them tortured clouds again the moon, the foolish cop pursued, Remind me of some whistler thing, but I prefer the nude. Said I, arrest this man of vice, said he, the nude is very nice. My pants, cried I, unguarded lie, beside my peaceful couch, My second best pair, with the stripes, red gold within their pouch, Thieves, murder, burglars, fire, cried I, sighed he, O oh, spies against the sky. Then in my pink pyjamas clad I danced before his eyes, In anger impotent I sought his ear with savage cries. He pushed me from him with a moan, Go away, he said, you're out of tone. Why do I pay my rates, I yelled, the wages that you draw? Come, I demand, good cop, demand protection from the law. You're out of drawing too, said he. Still, suppose I'd better go and see. I guided him adown the street, and now he stayed to view the changing sky, and now he paused before some aspect new. And thus at length we gained my gate. Too late, I cried, alas, too late. Too late to save my household gods, my treasures rich and rare, my ransacked cupboards yawned agape, my sideboard too was bare, and there beside my tumbled couch my trousers lay with rifled pouch. Now haste thee, cop, I called again, let not thy footsteps lag, the thief cannot be far away, haste to regain the swag. His arms I saw him outward fling, he moaned, Where did you get that thing? With startled stare I looked to where his anguished gaze was bent, And hanging by my wardrobe saw a Christmas supplement. 
a thing i'd got for little price and framed because i thought it nice it was a coloured supplement the frame i thought was neat it showed a dog a little maid whose face was very sweet a kitten and some odds and ends the title rather apt was friends a cursed philistine i heard the strange policeman hiss between his teeth oh wretched man was i hired here for this oh goth suburbanite repent tear down that christmas supplement and as athwart my burgled pain the tortured storm-rack raced that man of coptic culture grew all limp and ashen-faced then to my window seat he crept and bowed his head and wept and wept end of poem this recording is in the public domain